Yay. Like, I've been putting up with this for a while, but why is it so damn hot in here? I hate being hot. It's because your clothes are so smothering. Uh, I seriously can't stand it. I'll let you guys investigate this place. Ah, uh, Kazukai left the music. I'm a little, I'm a little suspicious of Kazukai. No, before that, I need to check the Monokuma file first. All right, let's check the Monokuma file. There are two victims this time: Ibuki Miyoda and Hyoko Sayanji. Ibuki Miyoda's cause of death was a crushed windpipe as a result of choking. There are no other external injuries. Hyoko Sayonji's cause of death was a blood loss due to her throat being slit by a sharp-edged tool. Holy. Fuck. Sorry, Jesus. It appears her death was instant. What the? Is this it? I already knew the cause of death from the beginning, so this isn't going to be a useful clue. Monokuma file number three has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. It's strange. Why did the killer kill two people? Huh? I mean, the more people you kill, the more clues you'll leave, right? So I don't think it's really necessary to kill two people and take that kind of risk. I agree with that. Or was there a reason they had to kill two people? A reason for killing two people? Regardless, something like this shouldn't be forgiven, so... Definitely find out. I'll definitely find the truth behind this case. That's what I think. Seriously, I'd rather prefer if she had more of a confident sounding catchphrase. If, uh... If she dies... The gamer girl, if she dies, this game goes from four stars to, like, two and a half. It has happened once again. Two of my chair's friends died at the same time. I cannot believe it. This is the place where Buki sang for Fuyahiko. Kyoko looked like she was having so much fun listening to her music, and now those two are no longer here. Such a tragedy. Four stars out of five? Yeah. Two of our friends were killed. That's all the more reason why we can't just leave that alone, right? We must do this then for the sake of the two who have fallen. I gave Danganronpa 1 like a 4.5 out of 5. If you go down in the panels, there's this panel that tells you what games I'm playing and what games I've played. And I, I think I gave Danganronpa 1 4.5 out of 5. Or 4 out of 5. I like Danganronpa 1. I like it more than this one still. <laughs> but we'll see. Even I'm horrified at my power of the eye of the overlord. What the heck is this? Nature. You it's stupid fool. I cannot believe you haven't noticed that aberrant thing. Pitiful humans, they refuse to lift their heads up for the fear of doubt in the authenticity of the blue sky. Lift my head up? Does he mean that there's something up there? Well, there's this broken machine. The shattered remains of the machine are all spread over the floor. This appears to be the surveillance camera units. Kazu guy put it in the music venue for communication purposes. <laughs> Why is it destroyed like this? Perhaps criminal psychology is at play here. What do you mean? Well, Even if they know they are not being recorded, there's no way the killer would tolerate committing a murder in front of a camera. Fuck. So that's why they destroyed the camera. <laughs> Seems plausible enough. They'd hesitate to murder someone in front of a camera, and that's why the killer destroyed this? And what was the thing I saw? We're in the heart of the story. Hey, Hajime, take a look at this. Look what's in front of the door. This drumstick, right? And it looks like it's broken. What happened to it? If something like that is in front of the door, you think it might be a really big clue. Why would this be a clue? What are you, fucking stupid? Remember when we came to the music venue, we had to punch our way through? Go! As soon as you go signal, we charged into the door at full force. Bam! The door was locked when we tried to go inside, and the four of us charged into the door. But when I examined it, I found out that this door doesn't have a lock at all. I get it. The door is designed to be pushed open, and this is the shape of the handle. If a stick was used on the bar door here, well, don't you think it would lock the door and keep it from opening? You mean you think this drumstick was used to lock the door? The broken drumstick on the floor in front of the door should be proof of that. Then how was the killer able to get out? Huh? I mean, the music venue doesn't even have windows. This door is the only entrance. If they locked the door from the inside, the killer wouldn't be able to escape outside. Like... Maybe the killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue. And we waited until we were already at the scene of the crime to join us. I get it. You know, don't, don't they use tricks like that a lot in mystery dramas and stuff? 
If that's the case, there might be evidence of that around here somewhere. Alright, I'm definitely gonna find it. I won't let the killer get away with this. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue, huh? Like you said, that might be possible, but... To the whole story. I heard what you two were discussing. Chiaki! That was kind of a cool entrance. Well? Besides the broken drumsticks, I've also discovered something interesting. See? There's a weird glob right where... Where the right and left door touch, see? Right, what is this? It looks too firm to think it's rubber. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't look like rubber, but as you said, Chiaki bent down, scraped off the semi-transparent glob with her finger. Don't touch that! You're gonna die! Why are you putting it in your mouth? It smells like workshop chemicals. Workshop? In this chewiness. This thing may be a glob now, but that doesn't mean it was a glob from the start. For instance, it was originally a liquid that parted into this. It might be possible to apply it directly and s smoothly in the gaps of the door. What are you talking about? Chucky spat the glob out of her mouth and left the area. Besides that bit about the taste, it's okay to consider that's some kind of clue, right? I don't want to say this, but I have a bad feeling that it might be Chiaki. But how? But there's only one way out, so how could they lock a door? Oh. What's up, Momo? Good morning. Hajime. This might be impudent of me to ask, but will you listen to what I have to say? Hey. I heard that you witnessed the incident from the very beginning, right? <laughs> Can you provide me with a summary of the incident? I need to reach the truth behind this incident for the sake of dedicating my body to an even greater hope. No. Wow. Why? Don't make me repeat myself. No. This guy just wants to confuse us. There's no way I'm going to tell him what he wants How to know. Unfortunate. I see. That's disappointing. I hate that he's still alive. Who died? Uh, Abuki and, uh, Yoko. Not Abuki. I'm concerned that it's a small chance it could be the gamer girl. Because she's kind of set up like Kyoko was in the first game. Where she's kind of like the competent one who helps you out. But I feel like they would throw a curveball at you and be like, yeah, this competent person, yeah, they're a murderer. Unlike Kyoko, where Kyoko was good the whole way through and actually was the only reason you won the game. Ibuki was kind of cool. She was kind of forgettable, but she was cool. I'd say the most memorable characters in this game. This guy, just because of everyone's simping for him and his dark divas of destruction. Her, because she's the carry. And him, because... The fuck you say to me? Hey Dan, how you doing? The Bookie's body lay atop the stage. She's wearing the hospital gown she was wearing when she was sick. Hmm. What is this on a Bookie's feet? I didn't notice when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. It's blood, right? But there shouldn't be an external injuries on Ibuki. If that's the case, this blood belongs to someone else. Yep. Damn right. I hate Nagito. I wish Makoto was here. Hey, Hajime, can I talk to you for a sec? You already discovered the body before you met up with us, right? Yeah, at first I didn't think it was Ibuki because of that hemp bag, though. But I knew right away she was dead since she was hanging. Like... Farty right now? Oh, gassy boy. That's how Luigi makes me. Well... That helps. There's no time of death written in the Monokuma file this time, so I wasn't really sure who died first. It's true. There are estimated times of death that wasn't written in the Monokuma for this file this time. But I should know when Ibuki died because I personally saw it. In that video, Ibuki was climbing the stepladder on her own, so right after that... Wait, hold on. If Ibuki climbed that stepladder and died right after, does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible, because even if Ibuki committed suicide, it doesn't explain Hyoko's death afterwards. Two different deaths happened at the same time. There's no way that's a coincidence. I haven't had a protein shake in a while, and I'm ashamed of myself. Because it's also protein powders expensive in Canada. This must be the stepladder that Ibuki used in the video I saw. Why is there blood on it? Isn't that a bloodstain? Look, there's a blood around the left side of the stepladder. 
As I recall, Buki didn't have any external injuries. If that's the case, then it must be Hyoko's yep. blood. That's the only thing I can think of. A blood stain that probably belongs to Hyoko is on the left side of the stepladder. What does it mean? Didn't you get the deal? Nah, that was an that was a US deal. I couldn't get it in Canada unless I wanted to pay extra shipping and all that. Yoko's body is suspended against the pillar on the side of the stage. She's wrapped against the pillow with duct tape and she looks like she was forced to, to stand upright. Damn it, who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was a slit throat. Her neck looks like it stopped bleeding, probably because of the duct tape wrapped around it. But why is Hyoko's kimono like this? Her kimono is all disheveled. Also, her sash is tied up in the front. Did the killer do this too? But when did the killer kill Hyoko? When I first discovered Ibuki's body, I didn't see Hyoko's body there. If that's the case, Hyoko was killed. It must have been during the time I was getting everyone before I came back here. But that was barely 10 minutes. Is it really possible that the killer killed Hyoko and taped her up in such a short amount of time? Even if it is possible, whoever did it would have had a narrow window of time to do so because the killer must be someone who doesn't have an alibi during that time, right? 11 and 12? That's not too bad. That's pretty soon. A few hours. I don't wish to be in your way at all, but there's something I really need your help with. Actually, If you look closely, there's an unnatural shape bulging from inside Hyoko's kimono, so I was thinking she might be hiding something. Huh? That's exactly Why? it. It would have been a problem if she were alive, but she's dead now, you know? Don't mess with me. Are you saying there's no problem with now that she's dead? If you don't want to do it, I'll just have to ask hey. someone else. Akane! Yeah. Yo, what up? Hey. There's something I want you to do for me. It looks like there's something inside Hyoko's kimono. So can you feel around for that? What? I don't really understand, but I just gotta check Hyoko's kimono, yes. right? Thank you, Akane. Helping each other is such a wonderful now thing. Then. Let's see. Akane reached through the duct tape binding Hyoko as she stuck her hand inside her kimono. Damn it, she's tied up so tight I can't really reach with my hand. Wait, hold on. There's something in this. Is this what you were looking for? Is this a key? Perhaps. It looks different than the keys to the cottage, so this may be the key to her motel room. Key to her motel room, huh? If her key was so deep inside her kimono, that'd be hard to remove. And it's very unlikely that the killer tampered with this evidence. Isn't that right? Because if this is a trap, they would have put it more toward the front of her kimono so we'd notice it easier. Which means we can conclude that this is something Hyoko had with her all along. Motel room keys when added to the truth bullet okay. section of my handbook. Also, it's not like I'm adding to that or anything, but you look like you were curious about the condition of Hyoko's body, right, Hajime? Of course, that's why I'm investigating. It's true there are several mysteries regarding her body. Whoa. Well, just hear me out for a second. Of all those mysteries, what I think of the strangest is... See? The way they wrapped her body with that duct tape. It's almost like they were trying to hide the wound on Hyoko's neck, don't you think? Hide the wound on her neck? <laughs> I don't really know if that was the true intention, but I guess it's a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because the duct tape is acting as a compress, right? If her body was left alone after her throat was slit, the surrounding area would be a sea of blood. Sea of blood, huh? Two dead bodies floating in a sea of blood? That's enough to make anybody faint. You hate these games? What the hell is this? There's a massive candle positioned near the front of the stage. Oh, that was the candle. Handle. The tote bag! Oh yeah, that's the tote bag that... Ibuki had a hemp bag on her head and was hanging from the ceiling, but why did she have a hemp bag on her head? Wait! The hemp bag, upon further inspection, there's a Monomi... Monomi decal on the fabric. It looks like this isn't just a normal bag. It was the bag from the movie theater. It's the rope that was tied to the baton line of and Buki hanged herself with this rope and died. Mm. From what I can tell, it looks like a regular length of rope with no unnatural features. But despite the fact this music venue has a storage room where there shouldn't have been any rope in there, which means, was it obtained from the supermarket? Did the killer bring it from there too? That means anybody could have obtained this rope, and it means it'd be difficult to use this as a clue. <laughs> I wonder if that's true. Huh? 
Oh, I just noticed a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? Mikan, do you have a moment? What happened? There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death is being hanged by this rope, right? Yes, she had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. That was obvious the moment we discovered the body. You might not have seen it, but we all saw that she hanged herself. <laughs> You're right. Yep, I got it. So this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search another place. It won't be used as a clue, but it goes to my truth bullet section to be used as a clue later down the line. It's not really a full-length curtain. This curtain wasn't originally here, right? If it was, it's strange that it doesn't fit properly. It was probably obtained from the furniture section of the supermarket. See, the back of the curtain, it's taped for temporary use, just like the curtain at the supermarket. So you're saying someone took the time to actually bring that curtain here? If they went that far, that was probably something the killer really needed for this crime. Why did they need it? Who knows? Well, it wouldn't be a mystery if the answers came easy. Your co-worker in the news found out who killed someone locally because they found where they bought a shovel at a local store. All because they bought a shovel. Murders are weird. Guys, don't kill people. Imagine being the person that solves a murder. Just, you're not even a cop or a PI or anything like that. Just a, just a normal Joe. It had a dim candle and so it didn't look like this lighting was used at all, but why did they use this lighting? Was there some reason that would have inconvenienced them? So you I see you noticed it too, fiend. Noticed? You didn't notice whom one of those eyes, just little glass bells. Take a good look at the baton lighting above your head. Have you not noticed this aberrant item? Look at the baton lighting. You mean that? There's something that looks like black paper stuck to the baton lighting. <laughs> so you finally noticed. I can't really see it from here. I should lower the baton lighting one more time. And see it. There is no Go need. By four dark devils of destruction. Feast your eyes upon the brave souls of my four dark devils of destruction. Our hamster launched herself in the gun on his hands and ran up to the baton lighting and the scene went in a flash. It started running around the stuck slip of paper in. And then the paper fluttered down and was definitely caught by Gundam. <laughs> Did you see that? Behold the power of the ultimate evil eye wielder. Wow. Oh, that is amazing. I've never seen a hamster do tricks. How pitiful. They're my four dark divas of destruction. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. Dude, chicken salad is so fucking good. Oh, I should make some chicken salad. Thick paper, though it does not have any special spells scribed onto it. It appears it's nothing useful. No, that's not it. There's no doubt this is some kind of clue. I mean, the fact that it was stuck to a place like that, no matter how we think about it, it's too unnatural. We obtained the truth bullet. Scrap of thick paper has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. With her arms crossed and a thoughtful look on her face, Chiaki was silently staring at the stage floor. Did something drop on the floor there? Nothing dropped. It's just dirty. Hey, hey. See, take a close look at the floor. See? If you look closely, you're right. There's a smudge of it. Something was wiped off. Wait, this isn't something. Is that a blood stain? Yep. Well, a blood stain isn't strange. Hyoko's neck was slashed not that far from here. Rather, what's strange is why did the killer try to hide it? If they weren't trying to hide it, they wouldn't have bothered wiping it off. The reason the killer wiped off the bloodstain, as long as the body is nearby, there's no way they'd be able to conceal the crime by wiping off a bloodstain. So what was the killer trying to hide? Fresh feta cheese? I don't think I've ever had fresh feta cheese. One time I was playing games with Fire Dragon, and I told him I like feta cheese, and he called me gross. Or, he, or was it ricotta? He was disgusted by one of my cheeses. You might be able to adjust the hot air in the music room venue. Alright, I should mess around a bit a little. Like, it's running as a heater over 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I know why it's so damn hot. I better turn off the heater now. Cool things off a little. Hey, Prod. How are you doing? 
I told him he should try feta cheese on top of some food. Like, feta cheese... Here's, here's the only similarity to feta cheese and ricotta cheese for me. Feta cheese and ricotta. You won't eat them by themselves. But once you put them in the right food, under the right conditions... So fucking delicious. I, I could probably eat feta by itself compared to ricotta, but... It, when you have it in the right stuff. Oh. 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 So good. Have I talked to everybody? No, there's still more. I don't think I've talked to Akane. Hey, are you okay? You still not feeling well? I don't really get it, but when I think about Nekumaru, it's like my knee starts shaking. That's weird. There's no way I'd get that kind of weakness. I'd probably go away if I battled a strong dude, but Nikumaru's not here. Nikumaru will definitely come back. Yeah, you're right. Nikumaru's the killer. There's a door that says staff on. Looks like it's inside the storage room. I might as well investigate in here, too. What the hell is this? What is this yellow blob? There's a lot of different musical instruments lined up here. I know about guitars and drums, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. Nikito, did you come here to investigate the storage room, too? <laughs> I just wanted to confirm what you were thinking. Sad air, is he trying to stay hey. in guard here? So how about it? Did you find any clues? The tipped over step ladder on the stage, the duct tape binding Hyoko, that probably all came from this storage room. There might be other things from the storage room that are used for the crime. You always pretend to give hints, but in the end, you're just going to be on the killer's side, right? <laughs> I'm not siding with the killer, you know. I'm just on the side of whoever acts in the name of hope. That's all there is to it. That's the main reason why this case is really special. Man. I can't say for certain, though. No. What is this guy saying as usual? He doesn't make any sense. How'd you make Yeah, the ba that's what it is. I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. Right? If you didn't explain it to me in detail, I think I'd be able to give you some more useful information. Really? You might end up, end up confusing us again. You don't want to find the truth. You just want to make us suffer. Oh, mean. That's not true. I'm doing this because I believe it's for everyone's sake. Oh, well. For the sake of everyone's hope, I'll gladly become the enemy and I won't even mind when I die. That's the main reason why I can't overlook this case this time. What does that mean? Regardless, I guess you're not going to tell me, huh? Then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings? Hey. You should come by later, too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Where exactly are you talking about? <laughs> well, obviously, the movie theater. After he said that, Nagito walked out of my sight. On some good news, I know we're talking, I know we're investigating a couple murders. If you guys want to hear some good news? Some good news, my latest YouTube video is at 11.5 thousand views in the first four days. Which is a lot of views for four days. YouTube channel. The bad news is I haven't worked on a video in four days now, and it's like, okay, what am I working? I don't have anything else. Hey, Lady Staria. Good luck getting the gifted subs. If you do get a gifted sub, it's a 70-30 split. There's carpeting, wall, and painted on the shelves. Probably used for storage decorations. Hmm? This thick black paper. It's like folded up on the lower shelf. It looks like wallpaper. A lot of stickers pasted all over the front. And this edge of the wallpaper. Looks a little torn, but what does this mean? There's a lot of stickers with this venue's logo placed here. It's like they made a bunch of them and had too many left over. It feels somewhat depressing. Compared to the last thing, it feels like there are less stickers than before. Am I overthinking this? You can see your whole body in this huge full-length mirror. It's probably used for checking costumes with a mirror this big. Yep, yep, yep. The only thing was this carpet that was torn, which was the thing the Dark Divas of Destruction got. If you know, you know. No! What's up, Lady Staria? How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. 
Howdy. My nose is itchy. Try to talk to the Gundam. <laughs> Did you direct your gaze to the brave statue of my four dark divas of destruction? Still more we need to investigate. Fuyahiko? Anyway. When we broke down the store, the killer was still inside. Alright, I'm definitely gonna find it. I don't want the killer to get away with this. Need help? Please, no. Oh, call room, and that's when it came to me. Then I should go check on everyone in the hospital was doing one more time before I go to sleep. And so I went to the patient rooms and noticed that Ibuki was gone, so I quickly ran out of the hospital. So that's what happened. And then I saw Fuyahiko in front of the hospital, so I asked him if he could help me look for Ibuki. That reminds me, where were you? I thought you were arrested in the lobby. That is a long story. I'm sorry, it's not like I doubt you or anything. There's no way I doubt you because we've been together since this morning. You're right, we were together until you went to the on-call room. That's right, we were together until just a little before the morning Monokuma announcement. So I don't doubt you, I'm telling the truth. Is it alright if I continue with my autopsy? If you talk to me again later, I'll tell you what I know. So please spare me my life at least. I appreciate... the wanting to help, but... if I need help, I will say so. How about this, Mika? Have you found out anything by now? It's been literally two seconds. Have you found anything? It's not my fault. The music venue is just too hot. Because of the heat, I can't estimate the time of deaths. Because of the heat? Is that possible? If a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death. That might have been the killer's goal. They covered up their time of death by using the heater to make the inside of the music venue hot. Oh, that's weird. Even if this heat is the killer's doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? I agree. As long as I saw it, it should be clear what the order of the murders occurred. First was Ibuki, then Hyoko. And as long as this is an imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistake in the order of the murders. Imitation murder? You don't know, Hajime? I thought everyone already knew. It's a murder where the killer uses creative work like a song or a film as an outline for their killings. It's so common in detective novels, mangas, and video games that you start to get annoyed by it. My favorite character? Her. She's like Kyoko, except not as useful, but she's still useful. They were coyote? It's clearly an imitation of that movie. That movie? The assumption is an imitation murder is the reason why the killer killed two people. The goal was an imitation killer. Even so, why did they feel the need to do something like that? Do you have a Excuse me, if this was really an imitation of that movie, then it's possible that one more person might have been killed. This too it's certainly conceivable if the killer wishes out. to complete the imitation. Hold on a second, what are you all talking about? An imitation murder. One more person might have been killed? Are you guys worried that there's going to be another victim? Then no worries, things would get out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could be killed at once. I'm a real cautious fella, so I've prepared a perfect countermeasure. On this killing school trip, the same blackened can only kill a maximum of two people. You mean you've added another rule? Well, if killing everyone at once is okay, then Blackman would be able to secure an easy victory, right? This new rule will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brains. If it's a maximum of two people, then there will be no more killings? Since you're here anyway, can I ask you one more thing? You know, I just want to confirm one of the class trial rules. As expected, you'll be very... You're very strict about your games. I don't want to consider this possibility at all, and I don't even want to think somebody would do this. If two cases occur at once, what happens if there are two killers? Huh? Eh? Like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that Ibuki and Hyoka were killed by two different people. That would mean that two killers exist at the same time, but we can only vote for one person, right? I am concerned. If we can only choose one based on a majority vote, the other person could certainly achieve victory. Yeah, yeah you're right. See? So what happens in that case? What about a case where there's three incidents instead of two, or four incidents overlap one another? Silence. Shut up! It's okay, I'll make an extra sure if something like that never happens. Hey. Meaning two killers can't exist at the same time, so it's safe to say that applies to this case too, wow. right? Ugh. Alright, fine, that's right. There's always one killer at any given time. Even if they had an accomplice, I'd have you figure out who the mastermind is. I ended up giving you a huge hint. She made me say it. Gamer brains are not mi are not to be underestimated. I should just shut up and go back to my cave. 
There's no possibility for two killers to exist at the same time. With this, I guess that narrows things down a little. Yep, that makes things a little easier. Fine. Plus, if the same killer can kill a maximum of two people, it means a third victim would be impossible. Imitation murder breakthrough. You guys keep saying that, and it sounds so strange to me. What do you guys mean by imitation? It could be you haven't seen it. Seen it? Seriously, seen what? Like I said, that movie. Oh when we first explored this island, Monokuma was passing out invitation tickets. Then the imitation is... Of course, it's an imitation of that movie. Well? But based on the murders this time, it closely resembles that movie as if they were copying it. As if they copied the movie. I see Nagito mention something about that. Got feelings? You should come by later too. I'll go there first and wait for you. The movie theater! I see, so you haven't seen it still. It's not too late, I think. It's probably a good idea if you watch that movie before the class trial starts. Looks like I need to do that. Then I should get going too. There are other places I want to investigate. Where do you intend to go next, Chiaki? Probably the hospital, for sure. The first victim, Ibuki, was there. I don't know what was going on at the hospital at the first place. Thanks to that despair disease, we could not go there for some time. It might be good for more to investigate the hospital too. There might be some clues related to Ibuki's death. For clues related to Hyoko's death, I should try going over to the motel. There's still a lot of things I can do before the class trial. I'll definitely give it my all until the end. Alright. So we have to go to the hospital, we have to go to the motel, and we have to go to the movie theater. We have to leave the Titty Typhoon. We'll go to the hospital first. We have made progress on the investigation. Well? I feel like I haven't been here in a while, even though it's only really been a few days. Hey, you prepared that surveillance camera unit, right? <laughs> yeah, so I didn't make any weird modifications or anything. It's not like I'm suspicious or anything. Didn't you get this from the shady looking alley where all those machines were lined up? Yeah, I just tweaked it a little. Then if there are other surveillance camera units, would it be possible to transmit a signal to the hospital from those cameras yeah. too? No, that's impossible. Originally, surveillance cameras or surveillance monitors are only used as part of the same unit. The video that was filmed with the hospital camera can only be viewed on the hospital monitor. The video that was filmed with the music venue camera can only be seen on the music venue monitor. But if I left it like that, we wouldn't have been able to communicate, so I decided to swap the cameras. So that's how you guys are able to view the hospital footage from the music venue and vice versa. However, each surveillance camera unit manages its broadcast based on a specific number, so even if you bring the same model camera or monitor, you won't be able to interfere with the signal. Meaning, even if another surveillance camera existed, it'd be impossible to broadcast with it. However, I didn't just swap the cameras, I modified them and increased the wireless range. If I hadn't done that, we wouldn't have been able to use it. You're right. You did work on that. Am I the other one in chat whose English isn't my native language? Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Potentially. Hajime. Hey, Hajime, there's something I want to ask you. You first discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue, right? But why did you go to the music venue? You had a reason for that, right? Did you see something with this camera? That's right. Oh, I also wanted to ask you that. It'd be different if the surveillance camera unit could record, but it's only good for household functions. Hey, hey. Tell me, Hajime. Yeah, that's exactly it. I saw a strange video in the surveillance camera unit. It showed the music venue stage. There was a black curtain hanging like there is now, but the whole display was pretty dark because they were just using candlelight. There was a rope hanging from the ceiling, and beneath that, there was a stepladder on the floor. And right away, a person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head appeared. I don't know who it was because their face was covered, but now I know that must have been Ibuki. She walked straight to the stepladder and without any hesitation, she climbed the stepladder on her own free will and then she grabbed that rope and that's all I saw. The candlelight being used must have been snuffed out or something because the screen went dark all of a sudden and it wasn't displayed. It wasn't displaying anything anymore. Hey, Link fan, yep, rip Ibuki. Well, if the candlelight goes out, obviously nothing will show up. Modern surveillance cameras have infrared functions, so things can still show up even in the dark. But the one thing I got from the one thing I got from the machine alley was really an old model. Hold on. Well? At the time, you said you didn't know the person wearing the hemp bag was Ibuki, right? Hmm. You didn't know it was her, but you saw she was trying to hang herself, so you rushed over to the music venue to try to stop her. 
but I didn't make it in time. Still, if she climbed the stepladder on her own, does that mean she committed suicide? Wouldn't that mean she's her own killer? What do you think, Chiaki? There's no doubt Ibuki climbed the stepladder on her own, right? If so... Don't think for so long. If you don't know, just be honest about it. Well, of course she doesn't. There's no way we'd be able to figure out that easily. I need to investigate the conference room on the second floor. I'm heading over there. What the heck? She ran away all of a sudden. She said the conference room, but why would she mention the conference room all of a sudden? Did she seem a little upset? The murder finally happened. The murder. Not just a, a single murder. Two murders. Now then. I'm finally getting back to my normal self. Hajime, help me off my recovery. You can touch my boobs if you win. No thanks. She was bearable when she was quiet. It'd be so much better if she was still feeling the after effects. She'd beat me up if I said that out loud. Anyway, why are you here? Hey. Well, I've never been sick or hurt before, so I had no idea, but hospital gowns are pretty comfy. I was thinking I might as well keep wearing one. Don't tell me you plan on to wear hospital gowns from now on. That's the idea, but it looks like they're out of stock. It looked like there was one gown for each patient's room, so I thought there'd be more in the company's room. There wasn't any gowns? Yeah. Yep, that's right. Ibuki died wearing one, so the only one left is the one Nagito was wearing. <laughs> If I had, if I have no choice, then I should probably just use Nagito's. It's a unisex size, so I'll probably be able to fit in it. Hold on, what happened to the gown you were wearing? Are you saying I should wear the one I already wore? That's gross. Wearing clothes someone else was wearing is even grosser. Like. Crap, I gotta go back soon. Well, it's okay. Since I already investigated the music venue, but leaving her on guard duty was a bad idea. My order is here. My chef's plate is here. Give me a second. We're going to pause the investigation for two minutes. I am back, sorry. It's only awkward if we make it awkward. Alright, well let's get back to the investigation. Ibuki's room was room number one, I think. Never mind. Guess we'll go to the conference floor. Hajime Hina. What's this? It's pitch black. I can't see anything. Where's the switch? Don't turn it on. Huh? Chiaki, are you there? 
I'm gonna be fully exposed, that'd be embarrassing. What's fully oh. exposed? Hajime, if you poke out your eyes, you can turn on the light. What are you gonna do? You're gonna poke them out? I'm not gonna poke out my eyes. Aww. Bummer. Troll fail. No sooner did she finish saying that, I heard the dry sound of curtains being drawn. There was a flash of intense light that stung my eyes a little. I squinted my eyes. Oh, God, here we fucking go. Close your eyes, chat! Oh, thank God. I saw Chiaki had finished opening the curtains that was covering the window. Hey, hey. Were you surprised? Surprised? I don't get it. Well? I got it. Got what? See? The curtains in this conference room are designed to completely block out all the light. There's a projector in here, so they were probably careful about light shining through. See? See? A black curtain that blocks light, and it's also long enough to reach the floor. It's perfect. A black, a black light-blocking curtain? That's why it was so dark. So, is something wrong with it? I'm still in the middle of investigating, so it's a secret. Yep, she's upset. But still, what was all that about? That bit about being embarrassed if I look and troll fail. Nope. I just wanted to mess with you. She's definitely upset. Why is she acting so childish? I guess I'm done investigating in the hospital. I should move on to a different place. What? I wish I knew how to speak French. It's on my bucket list. I think I went past the movie theater. Well, I guess I can investigate the motel, too. I just remembered I never went inside any of the rooms in the motel. Plus, I don't even know where Hyoko's room is. It might be faster to just ask someone. So you're here, right. Come on out talking to me. I can see you. Did you really think you could hide your presence like that? I wasn't trying to hide in the first place. Which room was Hyoko staying in? Open the door to the center room! <laughs> However, are you prepared? Make sure you pray to whatever god you hold dear, and you might want to bring an extra pair of underwear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how does this guy talk to his parents and teachers? Damn right. Hey, Hajime, can you explain to me again what happened when you first discovered Ibuki's body? It was the same as when I found it with you guys. Ibu Ibuki's body was hanging there from baton lighting. However, there was no body discovery announcement made. That's why I went to get you guys. I met up with Chiaki at this motel, and then we were about to get back at the music venue. You met up with Mikan and me, and then we went back to the music venue. The entrance door wouldn't open for some reason. So we had no choice but to break down the door and discover Hyoko's body was suddenly there too. Yeah, that's what happened. Hey. This is the most important part. When you arrived at the motel, who else saw you besides Chiaki? As I recall... A body! Do you intend to spread lies like Nakito? Besides Chiaki, I also saw Gundam and Manami. So Kazukai and Sonya didn't appear, huh? Do you think those two are suspicious? Well, Hyoko was killed between the time you saw Ibuki's body and when we broke down the door, right? So obviously those two are the most suspicious since they weren't with us. That, that might be I... it, but... While we're at it, let me tell you my alibi, too. When the morning Monokuma announcement woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw Mikan panicking in front of the hospital. I asked her what's going on. She said Ibuki disappeared. So you guys split up and looked for Ibuki, huh? Oh, yeah. While we were circling the island, we came to the motel and saw you guys there. Did you see anyone else while you circled the islands? No, we went to the movie theater and that street full of machines to look for a bookie, but we didn't see anyone. <laughs> Are you implying I don't have an alibi because I didn't run into anyone? It's unreasonable for you to doubt me. The time that Mikan and I were on our own looking for a bookie wasn't very long. In that short time, there's no way I could have killed Hiyoko and wrapped her around that pillow with duct tape. It's true, I feel like there wasn't enough time to do that after I left the music venue, but the fact is, Hiyoko was killed and we did discover her body. <laughs> What, you still doubt me? Jeez. Well, I'm used to it. It's true. I've done things I deserve to be doubted for. <laughs> so don't worry. Even if you doubt me, I don't plan on dismembering you and encasing you in concrete. Okay.
What well, hearing people speak French fluently? Oh, it's it's fucking beautiful. Into Kyoko's room or Kyoko, not Kyoko. Kyoko's not dead. Kyoko's room we go. Kyoko was staying here. She only stayed here a few nights, so it doesn't really feel like her room, but I feel like a little conflicted. Oh my. Did the door open? Yeah, Kyoko put the key in her kimono, so I used that to open it. Um... I see. What, did something happen? No, it's just I'm starting to believe it might be my fault. What does she mean? Um... Uh, no, no. Sp stick to English only, please. In this chat. She was afraid of the despair disease, so she was cautious of you guys too, right? However, here, her fear of the disease was not only the reason she locked herself in her room. She had another reason. Besides that disease, what other reason would make her lock herself in her room? Perhaps. Her kimono. Her kimono? Um. Yesterday, I went to go talk to her. She had been in her room for some time. I told her it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to her room locked, but by coincidence, it was not locked at the time. And then I saw it. Kyoko was crying and struggling with her kimono sash. She did not want to smell bad, so she took a shower, but then she couldn't- she could not tie her sash anymore. Mahiro is no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. She didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono, huh? You are right. The others might have thought it was just a silly sash, but it must have been a serious issue for her. Um... Yoko told me that she learned how to tie her sash from Mahiru. That Mahiru kindly taught her the basics. That's why she wanted to be able to tie her sash on her own. Perhaps. She probably could not forgive herself for not being able to do it, especially since Mahiro taught her. I cannot really understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. What did you say? Hyoko, by chance, are you having trouble wearing your kimono? Stupid! What are you saying? Of course I can do it! Because Mahiro taught me. That's why I can do it on my own. Um, if that is the case, how about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? Do you remember the full-length mirror in the storage room at the music venue? If you do it while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. Also, shutting yourself in your room like this may be bad for your health. Yeah, guys, shutting yourself in your room might be bad for your health, as I haven't left my apartment in two days and haven't worked out in a few days. Um... And that was when she kicked me it out. Be. Could it be Hyoko's remembered that? Are you saying she went to the music venue to wear her kimono? I can see that happening. Hyoko locked her room and made sure she put the room key inside her kimono. I can't imagine that she was abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Did you tell anyone about that before this incident, or was someone listening in on your conversation? I never told this to anyone, and I do not believe anyone was listening in on our conversation. Nobody knew? If that's the case, how did the killer know Hyoko was going to go to the music venue? Something's wrong. I think, uh, Hyoka was just a case of bad luck, you know? There's a mirror, but it's so small and rusty. There's no way anyone could use this. I don't see anything else that looks suspicious. There's no sign that someone made a mess in the room, and I don't think she was fully abducted. I got it! Alright. Off to the theater. I think that's all we have left. That's Monokuma! Maybe... I'm feeling that too. She witnessed it. And then maybe she was running from the murderer at the time that... My dude showed up. But I guess we're gonna have to watch the movie. It's the last thing I think we need. Hello there. Hello there, Hajime. I knew you'd come. That means you've noticed it too, right? The case of this time is an imitation case, which the killer used that movie as their theme. I wouldn't know. I haven't watched that movie yet. When you really should watch this movie first. Manager, customers here. Did you call me? Did you call me? 
Hajime's the customer. Do you have a problem with that? What are you gonna do? And you said you didn't want to watch it, but I knew you wanted to see it all along. If that's what Sasandre Hajime looks like, then you're a really tough guy. <laughs> You were so devoted to being sundry, Sunday, right? You, oh. you paid $1.5 million for a sticker? It's nothing. In exchange for not watching this movie, Hajime paid $1.5 million for a Monokuma sticker. Come on, since we're talking about it anyway, why don't you show it to Nagito? Stop it! Oh, my resistance was in vain, and Monokuma reached into my pocket and took the sticker out. See, it's this one. I'm sorry, I was born stupid. That's... You bought this for $1.5 million? <laughs> But in the end, he's still gonna watch the movie. Who cares about this anymore? Just hurry up and give me an invitation ticket. Here. Here you go. It already says on the invitation ticket, but it's only effective today at this time. By the way, I can only give away one ticket per person. You only have one chance to watch it for free. I've already stamped today's date onto the ticket, so you won't be able to cheat. Don't worry, I only plan to watch it once. It, I'll go prepare okay? the projection reel. Please wait for a bit, okay? Hey. Hajime, about the invitation ticket, I strongly recommend you keep that safe. Just think of it as a protective charm. That reminds me, that item should... Oh, wait, the item, yeah. This one looks like a tote bag. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, we saw that. If the tote bag is gone, that means... Whoa there, are you interested in buying that tote bag? Well, that's too bad. It's already sold out. Who'd you sell it to? There's no way I'd fall for that. There's no way I'd say something that would reveal who the killer is. So the killer bought it. Ah, I remember you said there was only one because it's a limited item, right? It's not limited to one. It's more like it's limited to one person. What's the difference? When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's a common practice to bait customers with bonus prizes. For some reason, hearing you say that pisses me off more. Monokuma's account has been added to the bullet well, section. I should forget that I carelessly made a slip at the top. Looks like the preparations are complete, so please enter the theater right away. I need to check out the poster there. Which one? What the hell is that? It's a video game poster, hmm? I'm definitely gonna buy that. Alright, guys, get your hyuk, hyuk, uh, berry hyucks out. Get to popcorn ready. We're watching a movie. World famous director Monokuma presents a stunning masterpiece that reduced American audience to tears. The Wizard of Monomi 2.5D will be screened shortly. From the title alone, I have a bad feeling about this 2.5D. That sounds so half assed. Robin, please relax and enjoy the film. Monokuma was born in a remote village full of old people because the death rates outpaced the birth rates. Popcorn out. One day, Monokuma was swept up by a tornado created by a helicopter gunship during a routine military exercise. And was whisked away to Monomi's country. Monokuma wanted to return to his homeland so he could go back to pestering the old people for change. So he began his journey to see the wizard, Monami, who was rumored to grant any wish one desires. Along the way, he met a very loyal group of friends. Monokuma met a Monami scarecrow who was missing a brain. When he recommended that she commit suicide, the Monami Scarecrow hanged herself and died. He also met a Monami Lion who was missing her courage, so he pumped her full of arrows.
He also met a Monami Tin Man who was missing a heart. So Monokuma sliced her into lumps of iron. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monami, the great and powerful. Eventually, one thing led to another, and he started beating the crap out of Monami. And in the end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people, took their pensions, and lived the rest of his days in luxury. And he lived happily ever after. The end. Man, movies are the best. That drama was so moving that I needed two boxes of tissues, one for each head. Now then, let's meet again at the class Goodbye. trial. Goodbye. I'm too disgusted to even let out a sigh right now. That's all I can say to describe this situation. <laughs> How was it? Actually, I don't even have to ask. I totally expected your reaction. That was honestly the worst movie I've ever seen. Is it even okay to call that a movie? But thanks to that movie, now you know, right? Yeah, just like he said, the characters who were killed in the movie match the victims in this case. Ibuki's death by hanging matched the Scarecrow's death by the movie. Not just that, but Hyoko's suspended body matches the lion's death, too. What? It would be... It would have been a complete imitation if the killer killed three people, but it seems that wasn't possible. Perhaps the killer is upset about that right now, or... If the killer's main goal was just an imitation murder, they should be upset about it, but... I'm not sure if that's even true. The Wizard of Monomy has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. It's time! Hello! How's everybody doing? It's me, Monokuma! Yay! Took about an hour again. The class trial's gonna start, you know. So, make sure you guys come to Monokuma Rock ASAP! <laughs> I'll see you soon! It's already time. So, this again. I need to go to that place again. But now's not the time to be a coward. The reason Ibuki and Hyoko became victims in order to find the truth, the only thing I can do is go. I've gotten better at the class trial, man. I've gotten better. I've gotten better. I've gotten better. Hey, Monica. How are you doing? No, wait, that's not it. I think I was supposed to go the other way. Doing good. Hell yeah. Glad you're doing good. How is chapter two? Very long. Uh, Hamiru died, the photographer. Killed by Peko Peko. Am I ready for the class trial mentally? I'll probably have to take a piss, but... <laughs> Use the washroom, maybe grab a one singular Cheerio to eat, and then I'll be ready. And now, uh, Ibuki died, and, uh, Hiyoko. And we're about to start the trial. Everyone who heard the announcement has gathered in front of Monokuma Rock, and soon enough... Is everybody here? Do you guys want to go to the class trial? Hold it right there, jerk. Don't get in my way. You're just a dumb little sister who's short a few brain cells. My brain works just fine. Monokuma, what did you do with Nekumaru? I see, so you've come to avenge him. Avenge? That sounds like he died. Sounds like you say, oops. Anyway, since Nekumaru is unfortunately unavailable, until he, let's just say he's absent. Now then, I gotta go first. Making banana bread? I actually have three bananas in my fridge that I need to make banana bread out of. But I haven't had time. I was gonna do it yesterday, but then I streamed way too long, so maybe I'll do it today. D damn it! 
Well, more importantly, it's best if we not worry about ourselves for now. If something happens here, every one of us except Nekumaru will be dead. Why are you so excited about that? How about it? Who knows? Maybe I'm just looking forward to seeing poetic justice prevail. Do you just... What are you saying, fiend? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. See? Then let's go. I'm All right, let's hurry up and get this over with. YouTube Let's Play, like and subscribe.